if we can change the way people act without them realizing they're being manipulated. And I thought I'd use as my guinea pig some of the unwary public here at London Science Museum. Tonight, the museum and its bars are open late, so the public are relaxed, the minds are occupied, and totally unsuspecting of our mental manipulation. And that psychological trickery begins as soon as they walk through the door. OK, so the public are coming in through one of two security lines, and both of them are decorated in line with tonight's theme of Who Am I? But each one of those lines is subtly different. In one line, we've got stereotypical pictures of older, sedentary people. And in the other line, we've got stereotypical pictures of young, active people. Will it make any difference as to how fast they move? Time to sit back and watch. Watching back the hidden camera footage, we time how long it takes people to walk between two points, having noted which security desk they came from. What we found was really quite astonishing. On average, the people who walked past the young pictures covered the distance in 18 seconds, whereas the people who passed the old pictures took 27 seconds. That's 50% longer. To rule out any effect that the guards themselves or the position of the doors might have, we even swapped the pictures around halfway through the evening, and the speed of walking swapped too. The different photographs seem to be the only reason why people on one side should walk any slower than the other side. This kind of effect was demonstrated by scientists at New York University a few years ago in a classic experiment. And they found that by triggering just the thought of a stereotype was enough to get us to actively adapt our behavior in line with what that stereotype is. It's called automatic social behavior. The idea is, essentially, that some of our behavior is unconscious and influenced by the environment around us. Are we really that easily manipulated? Well, it seems so. Subtle influences can even make us part with our cash. Researchers at the University of Hertfordshire conducted an experiment in bookshops across the country with real shoppers and collected donations for the National Literacy Trust. In that experiment, they found that people donated more money when the charity box read, every penny helps, rather than every pound helps. In fact, for every pound that went into this one, they got £8.86 in this one. So one word can make a...